Top story tonight at 6, the bridge over I-16 that was damaged by a truck is now gone in Trutland County. That's right, but repair crews say that they are ahead of schedule by opening the westbound lanes just in the last mm -hmm. hour. NGDOT says the eastbound lanes should be open by midnight, but there's still quite a bit of work to do. And they are moving way quicker than we expected oh, them to, so. for sure. The Georgia Department of Transportation started demolishing that bridge last night and posted video to Twitter. The Highway 86 bridge was damaged after the raised bed of a truck slammed into it yesterday. The impact caused the bridge to shift six feet. This afternoon, Governor Brian Kemp had a chance to tour the site and also thanked everyone for their hard work and patience. We appreciate the citizens being patient. We're going to try to get this thing rolling. Uh, thankfully, it's going to be sooner than we thought, but it's also important for commerce. Uh, really in our tourism industry a lot. We have a lot of a lot of tourists that come through I-16 trying to get to our coast, get to the uh, city of Savannah and other places to spend money and do business with hard work in Georgia. And so we know that's important as well. And GDOT says crews worked into the night to remove 600,000 tons of debris. That's about 35 truckloads. GDOT also says there is an investigation underway and the truck driver is expected to face traffic violation charges and charges against his commercial license. For now, local sheriff's deputies and state troopers are helping direct and speed up traffic through the detour routes. Kyle Collins with GDOT says he understands the frustrations with the detours and he's asking that people consider the extra time in their travel plans. Superintendent and Adrian aren't used to seeing some of the traffic volumes that I-16 creates, but hopefully folks hadn't been too much of a headache, but we know how important it is because everybody travels this road, whether it's vacation, port traffic, we got to have it open. And hopefully that'll be the case by midnight. Collins says it will take some time for the Highway 86 bridge over I-16 to return, but that's not an exact time frame just yet. It could take months or even years before the bridge is reconstructed.